Greetings, my people of the tarot. Hopefully my camera will work and she will focus for me. Let me give that a good idea so I know where to put everything. Welcome to the lunar drawings. We have made it to the second quarter. It is the quarter moon. Quarter moon, you got me in your spell. So, the quarter moon went into Gemini at 7.07 on the Eastern Standard Time. Um, on Thursday. And it will stay in Gemini until Saturday night. It's usually every couple of days that the moon changes signs and then it will be going into cancer and by the time we get to the full moon which will be the next video for their lunar series will be March 1st so what does it mean when the moon the moon is waxing so that means it's time for growth bringing things in so since we're in Gemini, let's see what it says about Moon in Gemini. This lunar, lunar aspect affects all paperwork, contracts, studies, and communications. Again, its influence may be positive or negative depending on whether the Moon is waxing or waning. So, since the Moon is waxing that means this would be a good time for that those for communications and paperwork although I think Mercury and you have got to be careful though with Mercury and retrograde for those things alrighty let's get to the cards and see what the energies are going to be for the upcoming for this quarter moon to the full moon. We will do our four cards and then total up. And I guess it's morning, so I'm having a hard time speaking. So, what else was? And uh, did you know that astrology is actually off a little bit because of the procession of the equinoxes, which is the Earth's wobbles. So if you looked up a planting calendar and almanac for planting by the moon, the moons would be in different houses because astrology is based on 2,000 year old maps of when, or something like that, but a thousand year old maps of the night sky so there's some food for thought that has not changed not in western astrology a vedic astrology moves considers exactly astronomically where these are printed where they are placed not printed so, let's see what the energy from the quarter moon to the full moon will be for this coming week. Growing energies. We'll do one, two, three, and four. I like to keep them in the middle for you. So, we'll start with Earth. Card, Earth my body. So we have the King of Cups. He is the ruler of emotions. He is ruler. So the King on Earth. So this time the emotions are going to be grounded for us. So it has to do, doesn't that think about communication too? So is this emotional time we will and be grounded? Water also rules the dreams. So we could think of the green time, dream time of being grounded. So I think we, this is a good time that we will be well centered in our emotional issues. That we will be 
pretty well balanced with that. So let's see what we got for card number two. Oh, I just love this card. We have the strength card. This is absolutely beautiful. So this is in the water. Um, earth my body, water my blood. So this is a what strength is on water. So again, I'm feeling this is a good time when we will be very strong in our emotions. They will be under control. They will be tamed. That that we are controlling that tornado that could be brewing. Earth my body, water my breath, blood and air my breath. Wheel of Fortune, number 10. Another major arcana card. Here we have, hmm, anything can happen. So, <laughs> things, I'm thinking, things could be up in the air, though. Um, what is she telling me? Things can be up in the air. Yeah. yeah. Well, even though our emotions may be stable, we may have a lot going on on in our mind. Um, oh, yes, we need to speak. This is a good time for us to speak our mind over the emotions because our um, emotions are in balance at this time. So this is a good time to be speaking, speaking to what we need, telling people, right? Telling people this is what we need to say. Um, getting things out in the open, clear the air, go for broke. Don't worry about what's going to happen because this is a good, stable time to speak your mind. And the last one is fire my spirit. And we have the two of wands. I just love the kitties in these pictures, aren't they just Wonderful. So this is also a good time to make a creative choice. Work on one of those projects or, okay, it came up. It may be a time to make a sexual choice. Emotions are balanced. This may really, I'm th oh, I'm hearing sexual energy. So this is a <laughs> this is a good time to have a good time. Okay, people? This is a good time because our emotions are balanced. We can speak our minds. We It's a good time to know what we say. We are just in our power right now. That's what I am thinking. And I'm going to do the number thing and add up these numbers here and see what we get for an overall a message. King of Wands, I've decided not to count the kings. We got eight, we got ten, and we have two. So that's an even number. We come up with two or twenty. So should we go with the magician? No, wait, two with the high priestess. We could go with the high priestess, or we could go with uh, the judgment card. Well, let's see. I'm going to go through the cards and see which one of those comes up first. And that will be the one that we will go with. And this may take a moment. Well, let's... The High Priestess. She came up first. So we will go with her for this reading. So, the High Priestess is all about... Oh, I got spit on her. How awful. She wants to be polished. There's a meaning in that. It's time to polish up our our crystal balls. It's moon is also in Pisces, which is a good spiritual seeking time. So let's you know, emotions are in check right now. We're grounded into the earth with our emotions. We're strong. Even though the emotions are strong, there's they're tame, so it's a perfect time to speak our minds. And it's time to hop in the old sack and have fun. And remember, the High Priestess is all about knowledge and bringing that knowledge down to earth. And 
and internalizing that knowledge and sharing it out with others. So time to polish up that crystal ball, play with the runes and other divination tools and get ready for spring that will be coming for us in the Northern Hemisphere. And that's it for my lunar reading over and out.